Looking to sew a perfect outfit for your little girl? Or confused about what to get for your friend's toddler? Look no further. In this video, you will learn how to make a reversible pinafore dress. Easy to sew, this dress is adorable to the T and makes for the perfect gift or outfit for the day. Material required 2. Coordinating prints or solid and print combination of 1 meters fabric pieces of 45 inches width. The reversible pinafore dress template, which you can download from our website www.ushaso.com. Water erasable marker, a pair of scissors, matching thread, and pins. We will first learn to cut the fabric according to the template. Then, joining the outer and inner pieces of fabric together by sewing on all the marked lines. We will then create the back pattern by joining the opposite ends and then sew the shoulders. Step 1. Template marking and cutting Take any bright and happy print material of your choice. We've used this adorable printed fabric. Fold it in half like shown. For this video, we will refer to this as the right side and this as the wrong side. Now place the reversible pinafore dress template on the wrong side of the fabric. This template is for a girl who is 4 to 5 years old. While placing it on the fabric, ensure that the side which says on fold comes over the fold. As indicated on the template, this is the back and this is the front. Proceed to pin it in place with some beaded pins. The pin should go through both the layers of the fabric. This will give you added stability while marking. Now take a marker and trace the template on the fabric. Once done, Unpin and proceed to cut along the mark lines with a pair of scissors. The cut fabric should look like this. Next, we work on the other material of the reversible dress. Take a fabric that complements the original fabric and fold it into half. We will be working on its wrong side. To recap, this is the wrong side and this is the right side. We will be placing the dress template on this fabric as well. Repeat the same process. Place the template. Mark it with a pen or a chalk and cut it. Step 2. Joining the two fabrics. Lay both the fabrics over each other. right facing right and pin them in place. Now take the fabric to your Usha Janomi My Fab Barbie sewing machine. Align the edge of one of the shoulders with the presser foot and check the dials. The pattern stitch selector should be set to A, which is for straight stitches and the stitch length should be at 2.5. Start sewing and after an initial few stitches, do a reverse stitch to secure them in place and continue forward. Make your way down and towards the other shoulder and remove the pins as you go.
When you reach the end, don't forget to do the reverse stitches before moving on to the next part, which is the armholes. But remember, we need to leave the shoulders open for now. Continue sewing and make your way towards the other end. Remove the pins carefully as you sew. As before, leave the shoulder area and start sewing. And let's work on the neckline. Go all the way across and end it with a reverse stitch. We have one more section to go. Leave the shoulder as well and sew the armhole. Keep going till you reach the end and finish it all off with a reverse stitch. Cut off all the extra threads for a neater finish. To recap, we've not stitched any of the shoulders. but have sewn the neckline, both the armholes and the bottom of the reversible pinafore dress. Now we have to create slashes on the dress. Start with the bottom. Ensure you don't cut the seam while slashing. After the bottom, Move to the armhole and then the neckline. These notches will help flatten the circular seams in the fabric so that it settles when your little girl will wear it. Next, we will take one of the unstitched shoulders and turn the material inside out exactly like shown in the video. Do this gently, so that none of your stitches come undone. Adjust all the corners and straighten them out.
To ensure that they sit correctly and not turn, we will iron the seam lines. Keep adjusting as you go. You can already see the difference on the iron side and the unironed side. Step 3 Creating the back of the dress. After you are done, take the front open shoulder and bring it to the back shoulder, like shown in the video. And fold the front shoulder inwards by quarter of an inch. This is a bit tricky, so pay close attention. Once the front shoulder is folded, insert the back shoulder into the opening and pin it. We will repeat the same process on the other side. Bring the back shoulder to the front shoulder and fold the front shoulder inwards by quarter of an inch. Do this neatly and then proceed to insert the back shoulder within the opening. And pin it. Our cute little reversible pinafore dress is almost ready. Now let's sew the shoulders that we have pinned. Align one of the shoulders to the edge of the presser foot and begin stitching. Remove the pin as you go and don't forget the reverse stitches. They are extremely important. Repeat the same process on the other side. After you are done, cut off all the extra threads to give it a neater finish. Our dress is complete. This is the front side and this is the back side. You can also reverse the dress and wear it inside out. We've stitched the armholes, the neckline and the shoulders. How cute does this look? We are sure your little girl will look as cute as a button with this reversible pinafore dress. It also helps that it's two outfits in one and you can have a new dress each time. You can even experiment with different fabrics to create different looks.